What's up, y'all? It's your girl in the account, as y'all know, or may not know already by the title. Um, actually, you guys already know by the title of this. I decided to try homemade beef fiat tacos for the first time. And just look, look down here. Just look at me. Come down, look amazing. Look at how you still steaming. Still steaming. So, um, it's my brand new office. As I may have mentioned before, uh, a lot of new blessings this year, 2021. And I'm, re I'm ready to take over the world, guys. Um, I moved into a new brand new apartment as of New Year's Day this year. Um, so, you know, see a little bit of more upgrades. And you're going to see a lot more of my face. That's the reason why I haven't been around for a while. Because I've just been so focused on my priorities. Not like you guys aren't a priority. Uh, I do miss you guys. I do miss my uh, my friends, my followers, um, my subscribers who are not local. Like, who DM me and tell me, like, how much they miss me. And, or, like, like they miss my own work. Like, yo, where you at? Yo, where you at? Where you been at? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So let's dive on into this. Um, stay tuned for the video. I'm gonna take a bite, let you know how well I did. I'm pretty sure I did amazing. Um, but yeah, let's see how this is hitting for. Now you guys can follow uh, my homemade recipe. I keep it a little bit to my liking. You can just think yours. So let's see. Authentic beefy tacos. Just look at the amazing work and detail that I did. Alright guys, so first things first, we have clean, uh, bone in, actually is this bone in or bone in? Boneless beef, this is about 5 pounds worth, um, so <coughs> freshly washed in cold water. I'm gonna continue cleaning it and also tenderizing it with white vinegar. I'm going to let that sit while I chop up the ingredients for the taco meat. So as you can see the meat, I'm going to let it sit while I chop everything up. Um, so ingredients that you will need is green pepper, um, red pepper, and I got the orange pepper just for color. Um, a yellow onion. This one is just for the casame. I will also be using more uh, to use as a topping for my taco. For the BTF tacos. And can't forget good old cilantro. I'm using some cilantro stems for the casame, which I will be cooking in a crock pot. Um, I don't have a pressure cooker, so I'm cooking it on the top um, I find it to be quick and easy um, that way. Alright, so let's get started guys. Before I do so guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. Stay tuned. So, I have the beef sitting in the vinegar, marinating, getting tender. I have my crock pot here. I don't have it on just yet, but I'm doing it crock pot style, so uh, I'm hoping this comes out really, really well. Just for the simple fact, I don't have a pressure cooker, um, and I'm, I'm an impatient patient. Like, I like my food. When I'm hungry for it, I want it now. And crock pot actually does cook stuff pretty pretty fast, um, even though it's, it's a slow cooker. Wait, I guess that is a slow cooker. But anywho, um, I just like how... How do I say it? When the crock pot steams and takes its time with with the beef, especially beef or steak, it just falls right apart. I love it. I love it. 
right, so let's get right into it. So the ingredients I have here is green pepper, cilantro, and this is just for the custom made just for now. So I have the cilantro, I have other peppers, and red pepper and orange pepper, just the color. I don't know, I like, I like a little sunshine in my food. And um, a yellow onion. This is just for the consomme, which then for the taco toppings, I will, I have another onion, which I'm gonna small dice, and some more cilantro for, uh, for the toppings. All right guys, so let's get right into it. While that is marinating, I'm gonna just chop up these vegetables here. Um, Adding a little bit of this marinade called mojo. Don't ask me, just read it. Some good adobo. This one has cumin in it. Alright, just set the crock pot. I'm adding some oregano. Some paprika already. Nice fresh ground pepper. Wait for the magic to happen. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so there you have it. Um, the process has started. Let's pray and hope that the BGI tacos come out great, come out pop, and come out tender. Um, and if you haven't done so now, please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and share. Tell a friend, tell your mama, tell your grandmama. Um, if you guys visit um, any mom and pop food, in, you know, food businesses in your city, and you want me to go visit and highlight their business, no, I am not a critic. I'm just there simply to show love and try new food um, locally or in the tri-state area hit my line hit me up slide in my dms comment below i would love to taste your 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 family's uh, traditional food all right y'all let me stop playing with y'all all right so i'm back for the store um i want to grab me some last minute hot sauce uh because i forgot to get the ingredients to make it from scratch but here it is time to hot sauce um actually also bought me a new pan um to fry up the tortillas on i have to wash that off coat it with some light water all right actually no i'm gonna put the beef in that sauce all right so let's take a look at what What's going on over here? Oh boy. Tell me that one looks delicious. Pretty scrumptious to me. Let me try a little bit closer.
example. Okay. Lots and lots of cilantro. Okay, now on a separate dish, I'm going to add the uh, BPS sauce. I didn't feel like buying fresh lime because I don't really cook with lime. I don't really eat lime a lot. So I went and bought lime juice. That way the actual fruit doesn't really waste and get old and poison. So I got the good old lime juice. So let's dive on into it, guys. Let's see what it's hitting for. Alright, so here's the BTO tacos, the casame. I already have my onions and cilantro. All I need to do is smack or smack. Oh, I totally missed the taco. Try that again. Add some lime juice to the taco. Can't go wrong with lime juice. I love lime juice. And your hot sauce. Lots and lots of hot sauce. I actually should have tried it without it. So I just want to see. Since I didn't season this one at all, I'm going to see how what I did was take this basic without any extra toppings. Nice beef, nice stuff, nice caramelized. Hey, let's see. Monterey Jack Cheese. I'm probably saying it wrong. Monterey, monetary, whatever. Damn. I know my guys. This, this, this is amazing. Let's try it. Let's try it with that. And that was just plain with no hot sauce on there. No lime juice. Like, I probably have messed up this taco right here. Damn, I put my foot in that. Alright, so let's try it with the hot sauce. Shell stays together, it's not falling apart. I think I did my thing. I think I did pretty well. Nicely stuffed there. Okay, let's see. We're gonna dip it inside this beef stew. Get it out of them juices. Come on, onion, stay in my taco. Matching while I'm eating, but this is the one, man. I think I done created a whole new game changer. Woo! Homemade beef your tacos. I have to say, I'm sorry to my fellow Mexicanos, but I think I did it. I think I, I aced this one. Be sure to follow my recipe. Um, like, comment, share, and be sure to subscribe. If you're a subscriber or not a subscriber just yet, do so. And also hit the notification bell. That way, every time I post a video, you guys are the first one to get the scoop. Yeah, buddy. So I'm going to continue eating these last two, these two tacos that I made. By the way, um, the recipe, the beef that I grabbed was five pounds. It's enough for your family. I thought it looked small. I thought it's sufficient for me, which it is, for a couple days. 
So if anybody wants to come out in this ugly weather, it's snowing out here in Betty PA today. So if you if you want to take the drive and come pick up a plate, by all means, by all means, let me know what you think. If you're risky enough to come out in this snow to grab you a plate, I'm, I'm here to spread the love and share the love. Mi casa es su casa, mi comida es su comida. My food is your food, my house is your house. Let's do it. Stay tuned, guys. Let me know what y'all think about this recipe. If you follow it, let me know if you tweaked it, what you tweaked. Um, let me know if you follow my recipe and it came out delicious. Let me know how, how it all turned out. Much love, guys. Peace out. Peace.